Now to a News for Jack's I-Team follow-up. In the words of one local Medicaid patient, they are horrible. He's talking about a company named Motive Care, which is paid by the state to coordinate transportation for Medicaid patients to their doctor's appointments and other health care services such as dialysis. For years, the I-Team has been receiving complaints about Motive Care from people who say their rides don't always show up. Last week, we reported on the arrests of 20 drivers working for a transportation company that was a subcontractor of Motive Care. The defendants are accused of billing the state for more than $5 million worth of fraudulent rides. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Ann Maxwell is continuing to dig into the issues plaguing medical transportation for those in need. When we talked to Kevin Emerson last week, he was on his way to his first dialysis appointment at a new provider. He said he switched to a practice closer to his home in Jacksonville in the face of unreliable transportation. I'm not allowed to drive right now because I've had surgery on my arm. He's been using mode of care transportation to get to his appointments for the past few weeks. It's offered through his Medicaid plan managed by United Healthcare. How's the service been? It's been horrible. Um, either they don't show up, there's, they show up an hour and a half early. What's it like? feeling like you got to roll the dice every time you're trying to get to your dialysis. It's very frustrating. Um, this isn't a trip down to the local convenience store. This is a, a life-saving uh, treatment that I go through three times a week. He had his girlfriend drive him to the appointment because he didn't want to be late. Until he saw our recent story on a mode of care subcontractor, Emerson said he didn't know other patients were also having problems getting a ride. Last week, the I-Team reported 22 people tied to a mode of care subcontractor called Sweet Transportation were charged with organized fraud. Most were taken into custody over the past few weeks. Emerson doesn't know whether Sweet Transportation was responsible for any of his rides. We heard from several other people who also say they've had problems with mode of care since our story ran last week. We got this voicemail from Barbara Pepe. She uses it out of her home in Middleburg. But it's mod mode of care, in my estimation, that could not care less whether a person gets picked up on time, whether they miss their ride, uh, whether they're left stranded at a doctor's office. I've experienced all of that. The I-Team asked Mode of Care whether they or another entity audits their subcontractors' rides. And if they'll look into whether drivers were paid for Emerson's scheduled rides to dialysis, he says never happened. They responded with a statement saying, Mode of Care takes the privilege of providing transportation services to our nation's most vulnerable populations very seriously. Through our proprietary network of NEMT providers, we successfully coordinate over 5 million rides annually in the state of Florida, of which 99.7% are complaint-free. All of our efforts are dedicated to providing the best transportation experience for the members of our health plan partners. We are reaching out to the member to help resolve this issue and look forward to continually improving our service experience for our members. United Healthcare also told us they're committed to meeting the transportation needs of their members. They said they're working with Mode of Care to make sure that Emerson's transportation needs are met going forward. They also told us he will have access to a new transportation option covered under his plan starting January 1st. Reporting live in Jacksonville and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.